At the Cliff House, Taylor apologizes when she walks in on Finn and Steffi kissing. Steffi tells her mother they need to have another Forrester dinner. Taylor agrees. They have so much to celebrate. Steffi muses. Yes, including your imminent reunion. Ridge arrives at Brooke's place, where she pulls him into a passionate kiss. She complains about him thinking of moving to Eric's. Ridge thought it would put her mind at ease where Thomas and Douglas are concerned. Brooke doesn't want him moving for any reason and muses. Decides, how much longer is Hope going to allow Douglas to stay there? At the Forrester Mansion, Eric tells Thomas and Douglas that Steffi called and wants to do another family gathering. Thomas would like nothing more. Thomas thanks his granddad for letting them stay, and Eric reminds them it's their home. At the cabin, Liam asks Hope if Thomas has given any indication of when he's bringing Douglas home. She says he hasn't. Liam complains that this is getting weird and wonders why his wife hasn't just told Thomas that the boy needs to come home today. Hope explains to Liam that if she thought Douglas was being mistreated, she would insist he come back. But that's not the case. He's having a great time. She has to be careful how she handles things with Thomas because she doesn't want to put the kid through a custody battle, which would be awful for him. At the Cliff House, Taylor reminds Steffi that there's no guarantee Ridge will be able to attend their dinner. Brooke may have plans for him. Steffi decides to take action and picks up the phone to call her father. At Brooke's place, Ridge answers Steffi's call amid showing designs to his wife. Steffi asks him to attend the family gathering at Eric's place, and he says it sounds great. He'll see her over there. After disconnecting, Ridge tells Brooke that Steffi invited him to a family dinner at Eric's. She narrows her eyes. That means Taylor. Next, she asks, am I invited? Ridge feels she's family, so she's welcome. Brooke clarifies that Steffi asked only him. She'll stay home. They kiss as she sweetly urges him to enjoy himself and give everyone his best. She looks a little angry as he walks out the door. At the cabin, Liam urges Hope to be on her guard. She assures him she always is. Just then, her phone rings. It's Thomas. Hope answers and Thomas tells her she's on speaker. Douglas says hi and they ask her to come to the dinner they're having. Hope disconnects and tells Liam that Eric's having a family gathering and Douglas wants her to be there. Liam notes he didn't get an invitation and wonders if Thomas' old feelings for her are getting rekindled. He just wants her to be safe. Hope doesn't think she needs any protection from Thomas. And if she's being honest, she doesn't think Douglas does either. Liam asks if she'll bring Douglas home with her after dinner. Hope will see how it goes. Brooke comes in as Hope bustles off. Liam fills Brooke in on Hope being invited to the dinner. Brooke says Ridge is on his way over there too. I feel like something more is going on here. Liam does too. At the Forrester Mansion, Douglas fools Eric into thinking he's Donna using a voice-changing app. Thomas and Zend appear as Douglas tells Eric that his mom is coming to the party too. Ridge walks in, followed by Taylor, Steffi, Finn, and the kids. Kelly and Douglas take off upstairs as the others admire Hayes. They tease about whether the kid's a Forrester or a Finnegan. Finn's not offended and hopes his son takes after Steffi. Eric makes a speech thanking them for coming and filling his house with love. As the Foresters eat nibblies and sip wine in the living room, Thomas announces that Hope is on her way. He knows she's a dreaded Logan, but she's Douglas' mother, so she's welcome. Steffi hopes she doesn't bring up where the boy should or shouldn't live. She asks if he's coming around to the idea that Douglas should be with him. Thomas explains they're working it out, and he invited her here to see that this is an amazing place for their son to be. Steffi snarks that he shouldn't be surprised if she insists on bringing Douglas home tonight. Hope arrives at the Forrester Mansion and asks if Thomas let everyone know she was stopping by. Steffi snips. He warned us, yes. Hope clears her throat as Thomas says he explained that she is Douglas' mother, which makes her family. At the cabin, Liam tells Brooke he can't understand how Hope doesn't sense something is off. Brooke feels there are outside forces at play. Taylor and Steffi are all too eager to take advantage. Steffi and Thomas want their parents back together. 
Liam points out Ridge is still her husband. Brooke says they don't seem to care and complains about them luring him over there to be part of their family. In the Forester living room, the group goes over the miracle of Steffi and Finn being reunited. Taylor says it was a day filled with magical moments and flashes to her kiss with Ridge. Thomas and Hope reappear after spending time playing with Douglas and Steffi remarks on the boy having a great time there. Hope is glad he's spending time with his father and great-grandfather. Ridge makes a speech about the Forrester family home and honors Hope for being there for Douglas and giving him everything he needed. Hope will always be there for him. Rich knows that, but now she doesn't have to do it alone because Thomas is a great dad, just like Finn. Rich says he and Taylor are so proud of them. Rich then pays tribute to Taylor, who loved his children into who they are today. The family is not the same when she's not around. They weathered the storm and are stronger than ever. Hope watches Ridge and Taylor canoodling as they all raise a glass to the foresters. 